Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and you're watching 5 things changed in Warcraft before vanilla. Some of this video footage cannot be found anywhere else online as it all predates YouTube. You've maybe heard of the survival profession before, but have you actually ever seen it? Well, first of all, let's get the name right. It should be regarded as a talent and not a profession, as the code for it was still in the vanilla version of the game and the menus list it with your other talents. Although it never made it to the final released game, the idea was that you could drop a few of your talent points into a much smaller talent tree and learn basic campfire, bright campfire, and how to use torches. Basic campfires did make into the game but came bundled with cooking as you know they gave a plus four spirit bonus when you were near them the bright campfire is the same but gave a plus eight spirit bonus your torches could be lit from these campfires and gave an aura spirit bonus as well as something called light bonus when it was nighttime in game the footage here of the bright campfire and the survival menu tab is the only video of it anywhere so enjoy During Beta World of Warcraft, shields came in two different types, bucklers and shields. Rogues and hunters could use bucklers, but not shields. This was changed for the vanilla release, and everything was moved into one category and only usable by warriors and paladins. But the back items were changed so late in the beta that their legacy could still be seen in the final game. Back items were not just cloth, but leather, mail, and plate too. This is why there are items like Hillman's Cloak, which is made with leather, by a leather worker as it was only originally going to be a leather item and not cloth. Not only this, but the vanilla World of Warcraft auction house, there were sections for back items in leather, mail and plate subsections. Did you ever wonder what this building was meant to be that you found in the Dwarven districts of Stormwind? Never really served any purpose, but clearly was something to do with Dwarves. Well, before the final release of the game, this building actually had a name, and was called the Dwarven Embassy. Looked the same as it did upon release, but now at least you know its actual purpose for being. This is not the only Dwarven landmark to change. Originally, Ironforge was a two-level city, and was far more complex to navigate around. This is also probably the reason why it was scaled back to what we know today. Other points to note is that the Griffin Roost is outside the library and not in the Great Forge area, as that place is totally different to what was actually released. Before the final release of the game, Torrin didn't actually use mounts and had an ability to run fast. Hold on Dodgy, I'm sure this was just changed early on in vanilla, so it did actually make it to the final game. You know what Flair, when I was putting this video together, that's what I thought too. But after going back and reading the patch notes, planes running was changed in the launch day patch, so on day one, Torrin could ride Kodo mounts. Anyway, planes running was an ability Torrin used because during development, they were designed not to use mounts, probably because a giant walking cow would look silly riding a horse. The ability took longer to get up to full speed than a normal mount, so it put Torn at a disadvantage in that respect. Now enjoy this footage because it's the only video footage of this ability anywhere online. <laughs> If you look at the old alpha version of World of Warcraft's map, you'll notice two islands off the coast of Stranglethorn Vale. But before the final game's release, if you somehow found a way to swim out to them, you would have found an island called Gilligim's Isle, which is very much unfinished, but styled in the same way as the rest of Stranglethorn Vale. The other island just north of this one is called the Island of Dr. Lapidus, and it's just more of the same. Both of these islands were removed from the game before it got a retail release, although they did show up on the overall world map image up to and including Wrath of the Lich King. I hope you all enjoyed this video, as I already have a follow up in the works called 5 Things Changed During Vanilla, so make sure you subscribe to me because you don't want to miss that. Well, that's it out of that.